And my name is Ines and I'm the founder and CEO of WILD. We are developing radically sustainable, healthy and ocean-friendly period products from seaweed. For us, it's really important um, when it comes to funding that the, the instruments we chose are aligned with our mission because we think it's it doesn't really make sense to um, develop a great and sustainable product, but then do it in an unsustainable way and have an unsustainable and exploitative business model. So. Um, uh, from the very beginning, it was clear to us that we need to look into um, alternative, alternative ways of um, funding. And I think we've explored everything that's out there. And um, one, one thing that is important when it comes um, uh, to Wild is that we are a, a, a real R&D project. So we are still developing product. Um, so all the revenue-based um, models don't really apply because we have no revenues yet. <laughs> We're still uh, in the development phase. Um, but what we found and what worked for us and uh, what we raised our first round on is um, uh, our subordinated loans. Um, so that was, that was the, the instrument that we chose and we are um, continuing to, to look into it and to develop it further for the next round. Um, I wanted to join this funding school because uh, I was super excited that there was an offer to connect with like-minded people and to actually have some input on the topic on the topic because you you have to do so much research and uh, the information is so it's it's gathered all over the internet and so I really like the idea to to come together and to um, have this group of people to exchange with. I'm not sure if we changed anything because I'm not sure if we had one before. <laughs> um, but what what I really took was that there are many many different options out there. But it's also uh, and I, and I, I had a better understanding to how they can work for us or not work for us. Actually, we excluded more options. <laughs> that of course is also helpful. What changed my thinking about funding the most was the moment when I realized that startups are there for an exit. <laughs> and um, it seems so trivial. Uh, it, 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 it seems so, like it seems very basic, but I didn't know that before. I didn't know. Um, I always considered companies something that people uh, people found and because they want to do something with them, they want them to, to yeah, ideally uh, realize a mission. Uh, and I never really understood some them as something that's that you just do to sell it. I was really surprised, to be honest, and also shocked because I was like, how can you how can you put so much effort in something with the idea just to sell it? And um, I think that changed my my understanding the most because. I, I'm 100% sure I don't want to do that. I, I don't want to spend time on something just to sell it. I want to build a sustainable algaeverse and um, make, uh, make products that, that really help people and have an impact. And that's really something that's very, very different to the typical startup model. There are actually two main challenges that we're facing. Um, one is that um, we are we're not the typical bootstrap company and we just need some working uh, capital uh, to add on our revenues. We are on an R&D project and we are developing a real innovative product, so we need upfront money. And um, the combination of being a company who's really innovating and really wanting to find ways that are not the typical VC model is is a very exotic one, <laughs> and I think that's it, it's it's really something that there are not so many examples that we can learn from um, out there yet. So we have to come up with many many uh, ideas and and also term sheets and contracts and these things um, ourselves. So so that's that's a lot of work and it takes a lot of uh, resources and. The other challenge is to, to, to balance out 
talking about straight ownership, so our um, the, the, our company model, uh, and included in our pitch, and we were talking to investors, but not to only talk about straight ownership, um, because it's 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 an important part of Wild, but of course we are much more than uh, just our company structure.